Good day, so I saw this advertisement on a national bookstore and it's called the Read Out Loud Challenge. All I have to do and all you have to do is to read out loud and the goal of this challenge is to promote the love for reading and share it with thousands of Filipino children. Now, for every 75 uh, videos uploaded, uh, the National Bookstore Foundation will set up one public library. And the goal is to have 75,500 videos and uh, set up 100 public libraries. Now, what I'm going to read is a paragraph from the novel I am a cat or Waga Haiwa Neko de Aru by Natsume Soseki. I have my cat here, so here it goes. My master seldom comes face to face with me. I hear he is a school teacher. As soon as he comes home from school, he shuts himself up in the study for the rest of the day, and he seldom emerges. The others in the house think that he is terribly hard working. He himself pretends to be hardworking, but actually he works less hard than any of them think. Sometimes I tiptoe to his study for a peep and find him taking a snooze. Occasionally, his mouth is drooling onto some book he has begun to read. He has a weak stomach and his skin is of a pale yellowish color inelastic and lacking in vitality. Nevertheless, he is an enormous gourmandizer. After eating a great deal, he takes some uh, tachydiasis for his stomach, and after that, he opens a book. When he has uh, read a few pages, he becomes sleepy. He drools onto the book. This is the routine religiously observed each evening. There are times when even I, a mere cat, can put two thoughts together. Teachers have it easy. If you are born a human, it's best to become a teacher. For it's possible to sleep this much and still be a teacher. Why even a cat could teach? However, According to the master, there's nothing harder than a teacher's life, and every time his friends comes around to see him, he grumbles on and on. So, that's it for my part, and uh, I challenge some of my friends, and I hope you can do it. See you. Bye.